Good evening, everybody. I hope it is evening. Well, uh, my name is Zeks Mda, and as you can see from this heavy coat that I'm wearing, I am in another part of the world where it is a very vicious winter at this time. I would have very much loved to be there with you at this auspicious occasion of the opening of this exhibition. Unfortunately, the vagaries of work take us to different places at different times and um, sometimes without prior planning. So unfortunately, I could not make it. I could not be there in person, however much I would have loved to. So please accept my apology. I am greatly honored to participate in this exhibition, particularly for two reasons. First of all, it is in honor of Eskia Mpachele, who I personally knew for many, many years, you know, from the 50s, when he was still Ezekiel. And, uh, you know, the drum generation and so on. And of course, he has been a great influence to many of us because he was the first of us to gain international reputation both as a writer and as a scholar, because he was a great scholar as well. So people like us then who followed in his footstep as writers and then as scholars value him very much, you know, as our ancestor, in other words, ancestor in the field of the arts in general. Note, I don't say in the field of writing only, I say of the arts, because he was an all-rounder. He loved jazz, he appreciated jazz a lot, and some of us learned a lot from that appreciation because he also wrote about it. But he also loved painting. That is why it's apt to honor him with an art exhibition. I was talking with some friends of his from the olden days, you know, the Mbari Club and so on, in Nigeria and so on, in Ibadan. And um, he is held in high esteem up to this day, and rightly so. So I'm greatly honored to take part in an exhibition, an art exhibition that honors him. Secondly, I am honored to be exhibiting with Chipape Mahato, a son of the Limpopo province, who has made it in art. I met Chipape first in Johannesburg, but I've since met him again in the United States, uh, even in the state, state where I live, where I teach, you know, in Cleveland, where he's often invited, you know, as an artist in, in residence. So he has international recognition as an artist. I've often gone to Cleveland to work with him, to do joint works, you know, uh, to, together. Um, he, he is highly recognized internationally, and I'm greatly honored to be in this exhibition with him. It is also fitting that the works that will be exhibited there, he has his works, great, wonderful works. I also have my works. But for me, most importantly, we have collaborative works, in other words, works that we have created together 
we work at one painting at the same time together in a jazz kind of fashion, which is known as jam session. You know, when jazz musicians come together and they all play, you know, unrehearsed, uh, unprepared for anything that comes. And great music is produced in a jam session. So we have those paintings that I choose to, to see as jam session paintings because we create them in that method together at the same time. So, so for me, this is wonderful. But it is even more wonderful that the exhibition is in Limpopo, in Polokwa. Many of you may not be aware that Limpopo is the home of great contemporary South African artists. A number of the artists that we talk about today, I won't mention names because I'll leave out, uh, leave out others, and then you may think that they are less important. They are all important. A number of great artists working in South Africa today come from the Limpopo province. You can name them. You'll find that they have Limpopo roots. But this is not new. This is not only, you know, from today. I said contemporary artists. It is historical. In recent history, for instance, artists like uh, General Sikoto had their origins in that province. But even in a thousand, a thousand years ago, great sculptors came from that province, created great art, and it is a tradition that has come down from one generation to the next. So it's not an, a, an accident that great art comes from that province. It's, it's, it's historical. Some of you might know of my novel, The Sculptors of Mapungubwe, which is set in that province more than a thousand years ago, and is based on historical reality, you see, where I honor great sculptors that have lived in that region a thousand uh, years ago. It is therefore a great honor, and thank you very much for lending us your ear by giving us the space to showcase our work, and once again, forgive me for my absence. I hope to be there one day very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Enjoy the exhibition.